cut the size of the screen on the separation machine first, so that we can easily separate it from the assembly line. The temperature of the sprayer is 100 degrees, so you don't have to worry about burning the phone. This phone was sent for repair by a fan from Bain City, Gansa Province. Thank you for your trust and support. Use a blade to pry off the broken glass we just cut, and insert a thin card between the outer screen and the inner screen. This way, we can put in the adhesive tape. When pulling the cable, don't pull it flat, pull it diagonally along the gap on the edge of the screen. This way, it is less likely to damage the inner screen or touch the frame. As long as the method and technique are correct, it is generally not easy to damage the inner screen. We have already tested many units, and this model has not encountered any issues. If you are not a repair professional, please do not attempt it. Easy to understand, but useless when put into practice. The adhesive is still quite hard, and it feels even harder to pull than the curved surface. The key is that as soon as it is pulled apart, it immediately sticks back together. The outer screen has been successfully separated. Let's use the adhesive roller to remove all the large pieces of residue on the screen, then turn it on and test it to see if there are any issues. Then use alcohol combined with a nano sponge to thoroughly clean the screen. screen passed the test and is ready for bonding. Use a blade to clean the sealant around the edges of the screen, otherwise there may be bubbles after bonding. After wiping the screen, use the adhesive. 